We're very fortunate in the data center industry to be growing 10 plus percent year over year. That growth is being driven by really three primary things. It's cloud, it's internet of everything, and it's big data. Internet of everything and, and big data are relatively recent phenomena. The internet of everything um, is driving people to have toothbrushes connected to ethernet ports, refrigerators connected to ethernet ports. It's amazing the amount of data that's being transferred and the things that are actually being connected to the, the cyber world. Uh, people are looking at reports to see how long they brush their teeth for. Uh, it, people are looking at, at weather reports on screens on the refrigerators. The, the world that we live in is being transformed by data and data is being driven closer and closer to the edge. And by the edge, I mean driven closer to actual personal devices. These personal devices are giving feedback and contextual information in a way that's never been delivered before. All of that data lives somewhere. That data all lives in data centers. Big data is a, a huge movement in the IT industry and in general is helping shape the way that companies bring products to market, add new features. Analyzing the data from consumers allows people and companies to adjust products, to advertise in ways they've never been able to advertise, to reach an audience that quite frankly they didn't have the, the data to reach. Big data, IoT, and cloud are, are driving the data center market. As the data center market matures, there's a, a bifurcation within the market. At one end of the market, you've got very mature cloud offerings like Amazon, IBM, SoftLayer, uh, Microsoft Azure. At the end of the spectrum, you've got uh, at-scale data centers. And at-scale is a very, very key term. In order to cost-effectively do big data initiatives, in order, in order to globally deploy IoT initiatives, you need to have at-scale data centers. And at-scale data centers to me is defined as data centers that are at least 15 megawatts or greater. And the reason that's important is the economies of scale associated with larger data centers drives us to be able to produce at a cost that you can do effective deployments for cloud, for, for uh, big data, for IoT. In smaller data centers, the cost per KW is so great that you don't have the ability to cost effectively uh, provide services to these larger, more sophisticated customers. Raging Wire is very specific in our mission. Our mission has become one of the top five wholesale data center providers in the United States. And the reason that's very key and very specific is we believe that being in the top six U.S. markets and building at scale, highly cost effective, highly efficient data centers is going to allow us to capture more cloud, IoT, and big data business. I think if you map out over the next five years, I think the industry is going to become quite different than it is today. I think you're going to see a dominance in wholesale infrastructure. I think that you're going to see a movement to the cloud. I think that you're going to see the large wholesale providers ha are attracting and operating a lot of the cloud providers. I think, I think interconnection strategy becomes absolutely key. If you're a, a small to medium-sized company, you're going to want to have as much of your infrastructure as you can located within the cloud. And so you're going to need to, wherever your data center is, you're going to need to interconnect into these large cloud and other service providers so you have the ability to take advantage of that. And I think on the data center side, I think there's this, this in-between land between the large at-scale providers and between the, the large at-scale cloud providers. I think in the, the in-between land, and I'm talking about um, the small to medium-sized data centers, I think unless they become very highly verticalized, very high touch and stick to a, 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 a niche, I think they're going to have a lot of difficulty competing with these larger data centers.
as the market we operate in matures and starts to commoditize, I think you're going to see at scale and wholesale become much more dominant. I think you're going to find a lot of consolidation. And I think that this the middle ground of data center providers that do not have the scale and are not operating in the major markets, I think you're going to see that they're either going to start to consolidate or in some instances fail if they don't stick to a very, very defined niche and become highly verticalized. I think they're going to have difficulty. Mm -hmm.